What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the brother BG for the fifteen dollar donation via the Cash App. Leaves a note saying, "Salute for the hard work you put into your content, bro." Well, much respect to you for showing love once again. And I try to put out as much content as I possibly can. And when I do miss days, I try to make up for it with the amount of videos I put out. So much respect to you for showing love to the channel. All right. So I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. So Charles Barkley appeared on a podcast. I think it was a podcast involving Tom Brady, Larry Fitzgerald, and Jim Gray. And um, he talked about how one of the biggest regrets that he has is losing Michael Jordan as a friend. And um, he, he says, uh, Michael Jordan, losing his friendship was probably the most prominent thing that's happened to me. But I was being honest about what I thought. Listen, the toughest thing about Michael He's got to put better people around him because the toughest thing when you're famous, they're on your private jet, you're buying all the drinks, you're buying all the dinners, very few people are going to be honest with you. I try to surround myself with people like, hey, if I'm screwing up, please tell me. And Mike, Michael got offended about something I said about him and we haven't spoken in probably almost 10 years and he was my best friend at the time. And I love to do like a brother, and we're both stubborn, and we haven't talked. Now, of course, Charles Barkley recently uh, heard <laughs> from Charles Oakley. And Oakley said that he'll never get back into Michael's good graces. Oakley said something to the effect of, Barkley, he could never get back in Jordan's inner, inner circle, no matter what he do. He could do jumping jacks, push-ups. He can't get back in the family. He out. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure... That Oakley, not liking Charles Barkley anyway, probably is an influencing ear in as far as keeping Charles Barkley out. Um, I'm like this. If Michael Jordan was your best friend, right? There were better ways that you could have went to Mike as far as criticizing him in the media. Look, remember the whole situation with Chris Cuomo and Andrew Cuomo and people saying that Chris Cuomo was protecting him and his brother who's the governor of New York? And of course he should be. That's his fucking brother. I wasn't like people say, oh, that was, you know, uh, Unethical for him to do this and do that. Man, shut the fuck up. Kiss, kiss my ass. Now people want to scream about ethics. All the bullshit that go on the media. All the fake outrage and the false narratives. Charles Barkley knew and knows how Michael Jordan is. He should have went to Mike as a, as, a, as a friend and voiced his concerns to him privately before putting that shit out there publicly. That's my opinion, at least. He should have voiced that shit to him privately as a friend. Because if I'm Michael Jordan, you say he need to put the right people around him and all that. Well... Why go public and make him out to seem like he got a, like he's just this, from Michael Jordan's perspective, it, it almost sounds like you saying he's an incompetent that has nothing but yes men around him ever since he became an owner with the Hornets. That might not have been your intention, but it's kind of like how you put it. He's the worst owner in sports, and despite the fact that we're friends, I got to do my job. I got to still do my job. I got to do my job. Well, 
That's why a lot of people, you know, that's why a lot of players personally don't like Charles Barkley. You know how Michael Jordan is personally? He's a very private person. You should have came to that man publicly, you know, privately and voiced your concerns. I don't see any of these fucking analysts, most of them at least, who have personal relationships. You can tell some of these analysts that have personal relationships with people. They, they don't really keep the same energy. I can figure that out from listening to them talk about certain people. I've already come to the conclusion, and I don't have any evidence to support this, but I've come to the conclusion that it's just my opinion that James Harden is an undercover snitch. I think James Harden tells them off the record information about shit going on in the NBA as far as players is concerned, and that's why, partially, they give him, uh, they treat him with kid gloves. He's not affiliated with club sports. He's always getting fucking uh, the benefit of doubt when it comes to the media. So that's pretty much my conclusion to that. I could be wrong, but I know how the media works. But anyway, when it comes to this shit with Charles Barkley, that's all on him, man. You know, you knew when you did that, that you were pretty much uh, kissing your friendship goodbye. You knew that. You knew you was kissing that friendship goodbye when you did that. You know, but you're stubborn. Like you say, Michael's stubborn. I'm doing my job. You thought the shit was going to be, you know, you thought at the time that the friendship was going through a little low, but Michael shut you out completely. They don't trust your ass. So, that's on Charles Barkley. So anyway, you know, it is what it is, man. Tell what you guys think.